Level Up Protocol. I am Trilla D. I will be live streaming Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. That's North American Eastern Time. I know some of you guys are in UK and Germany and Austria and all types of different places, but I will be live streaming Sunday at 1 p.m. So you guys tune in. You can interact. We can talk to each other. You can ask me some questions. I'd love to conversate with my subscribers. You guys are obviously the best. Level Up family. Sunday at 1 p.m. Today's video is on the quitting weed category still. I'm gonna go through some comments that people have left on my other vlogs about this topic. There's been a ton of comments, a lot of good comments, some stupid comments, some people who agree with what I say, some who disagree, and I'd like to just go through a few that really stood out to me at least, because I answer every comment, I read every comment. Before we get into that though, I do wanna say this. For those people viewing these videos, you should really ask yourself, why are you on my page? Now this is level up protocol, where the protocol is leveling up. Whether that means beating addictions or getting in shape, I have workout videos coming, or just talking to more women, going on more dates, enjoying your life and living a full life and being your best self. That's what my channel is about. If you're not into any of that kind of stuff, then you really shouldn't be watching these videos. You shouldn't even be on my channel because this is for the people who are trying to level up their lives only. Now the next thing I want to say is you don't need me to tell you what to do. In fact, no one should tell you what to do. I'm not telling anybody to quit weed. I'm not telling anybody to smoke weed. These vlogs are my own experience. Some of them are advice and I'm telling people to do certain things, but as far as the weed vlogs go, if you notice, I never say don't smoke weed. I say I quit weed and I am weed free for this amount of time and I went through these withdrawal symptoms and this and that. You guys have free will to do whatever it is you want to do in life. But the next thing you should really ask yourself is why are you watching a video about someone who quit weed? That should be telling you something in itself. Even if it's on a subliminal back of your mind type seeds being planted type of level, it should tell you something. Because I'll tell you one thing, when I was smoking weed several times a day, hella blunts, hella weed, I was not watching vlogs about people who quit weed because I didn't care about that. I didn't care about quitting weed. It wasn't a thought in my mind. If a video like that popped up on my timeline, I would not click it because I have no interest in it. So if you guys are clicking on it, that should tell you something. It should tell you that some gears are starting to click in your brain and you should really think about what's going on there. And some people have said, oh, I just like to see the other perspective. But even still, I like when I was smoking weed, I would have not have clicked a video like my own. Now, one thing I do find funny in the comment section is the way people defend weed so aggressively as if they're offended by my quitting weed. Like, oh, you only smoke Indica's. Oh, you smoke blunts a lot too. That's nicotine and everything in moderation. Like, okay, yeah, cool. But again, this is what I say to everyone who makes comments like that. I challenge them to stop smoking for 30 days. Try going 30 days without it. In my opinion, I feel like at the end of those 30 days, you will be more stress-free than you are when you smoke to be relieve your stress. But it's just something that I'm saying. Just try it out. And if you can't go 30 days without stopping smoking weed, then you're addicted. That should tell you something right there. If you rely on weed to fix your problems, you're addicted. Like drinking, for example. I drink sometimes, but it's not to fix any problem. I may be out on a date. I may be out with some friends and we'll have a couple of drinks because I'm already having a good time. So I want to increase that good time with a little bit of alcohol. I don't drink alcohol at the end of the day to de-stress and, you know, have relief at the end of my day. I don't drink it to become more social. I don't drink it to escape my problems or not think about situations. So... That's what I'm trying to say here is if you're using it to mask any problems, like if you're smoking to relax or it's the only thing that makes you happy in life. I've, I've had someone make a comment and say, you know, when I don't smoke, life just feels so empty and boring. That's those are problems. If you see what I'm saying, those are big problems that you guys should address. Anyways, let's get into some of these comments now. So we'll start with this one by Elliot Wolf. I don't know what he was talking about. I should have clipped the whole comment, but he says, instead of my emotions affecting my current perception of life, my whole perspective changed altogether. I just started appreciating things more as time went on. And the main thing I found was that the way I was less lazy, I actually wanted to go outside and experience nature rather than just sit on my bed alone all day. The journey is different from everyone. My friend, keep going strong. You got it. That's so well said because this is exactly how I felt. Like my whole paradigm and my whole perspective towards life in general changed for me too. Things just became so different. I got enjoyment out of having a conversation with someone or spending some time with someone. You know what I mean? Like these little things that would seem tedious before 
or I would have to smoke to get through these got better. So thank you, Elliot. Taking inspiration from the Tates, not interested watching the rest of this video. That's a crazy thing to say right there. First of all, I'm not a crazy Andrew Tate supporter. He has said a lot of crazy things that I don't agree with, especially when it comes to females and them being his property and you know, this and that. I don't agree with that. I have the utmost respect for women. Mind you, he said a lot of amazingly smart, good things when it comes to life and finances and being a man and just bettering yourself and being your best self. So sometimes in life, guys, you have to listen to the message and not the messenger. There's knowledge all over. And if you're just gonna say, oh, this guy listens to the Tates, I'm not gonna listen to any of his videos. That's a super narrow-minded mindset to have. And in the end of the day, you're gonna lose out on a lot of benefits for yourself and information. So Noah, one month ago, that's a lot of subscribers. Good job, Noah. He said, dope video, man. Glad to see more content on this subject because I feel it's not talked about much. Also just recently quit about 16 days in and for anyone still struggling for the first week to 10 days, it does suck, but trust me, it gets better, I promise, and it will all be worth it. Just remember when quitting, it isn't about what you're losing in life, it's about what you're gaining back. Best luck to everyone on their journeys and just know you gain yourself a new sub. Thank you, Noah. Per amazingly said, I couldn't have said it better. It's not about what you're losing, it's what you're gaining back. So it's not about how, oh, I can't enjoy hanging out with my friends anymore or I can't de-stress at the end of the day anymore without my joint. It's more about how you're going to improve your life now and how things are going to get better for you on a different platform, in a different realm. So well said, Noah. David Bradshaw, this is a long comment. I'll post up, you guys can read it. But one thing that he said here that really stands out is the one thing that differentiates stoners to every other drug user is their persistent denial of harm. And they have a great support network that endorses their belief and that makes cannabis addiction particularly hard to treat. I now call weed the silent killer because people see no harm in it. They find no fault with it and they don't see the damage it's doing to them until they quit and look back at the bigger picture. When I first quit and I was telling people that, like I said in earlier videos, they were like clowning me. It was like a joke to them. They're like, this guy cannot be serious. Like what is going on here, right? So watch who you're hanging out with basically. Dude, if you can't live your life happily because of weed, then you shouldn't have been smoking it in the first place. Weed helps me relax after a long day of work. Also as a grown man, I look up to no one but God. God put weed here, so yeah. That's a reach. I rolled a blunt to this and smoked it. One of the worst things I ever did was quit weed for eight months because of probation. Hated every day of it. Weed makes me creative as fuck. Been a conversation starter for me for years. I legit don't care for combos. So that's saying a lot for me. I've never stopped reading. My grandmother was a librarian. I stayed in the book still to this day. The video game shit is universal. Even when I'm high, I'll say, why the fuck am I sitting here playing this? It's not just you. I respectfully disagree with almost everything you said because for one, I'm physically, emotionally, and financially happy and I smoke all day, every day. Lastly, you sound like a true stoner talking about the Matrix and sit. Go smoke a blunt, dude. Good luck on your journey. Wow. So let's see. He's already saying he's relying on weed to make himself happy and de-stress. He's already saying he needs weed to start conversations. This is exactly what I'm talking about. There's root problems here that people need to solve. This guy is saying he can't have conversations with people. You need to work on becoming more social, not on relying on weed for that. Because this is the thing, people say weed is a medicine and I do agree, weed is a medicine, but so is Tylenol. And you don't wake up and take Tylenol every single day and every single night, do you? No, when you need the medicine, you take the medicine and then that's it. You shouldn't be consistently having to take this the medicine every single day for the rest of your life. So this guy is uh, quite funny to me. I sound like a true stoner talking about the matrix and shit. He's so deep in the matrix. He can't even see the irony of his whole comment. So good luck to you on your journey because I'm doing fine. There's a difference between watching your life go past and living your life in the moment. Don't even have anything to say about that. You guys can take it for what it's worth. I hope you're doing well sticking to it. After the first few weeks, the buzz of quitting starts to wear off. The key is to stay balanced, not too high and not too low. Balance is a precious piece that you begin to value and appreciate. Good work, my brother. And he's so true. After the momentum kind of dies off, then it's time to really start fixing up your life as a sober person. Balance is so key. I've said this in comments to people. I appreciate the highs now of life and the lows. I appreciate everything. I don't try to escape it with weed anymore. I live in the moment. The highs, I feel good. The lows, I reflect and think about what I did and how it could fix what put me in the low situation. Guys, weed is not like alcohol or crack. Why the F do you feel the need to tell people you stop smoking? I hope you got a cookie for putting the joint down. 
This is what I'm talking about. People really, he's not even looking at all the negative things I said weed was doing to me. He's just sitting, being high himself, feeling judged and feeling like he's being called out, even though it has nothing to do with him. And he's saying he's attacking, you know what I mean? So this is what I talk about, how people are a bad support circle and they don't see the harm in it. Obviously it's not as bad as alcohol or crack, but it could have a detrimental effect on your life and anything negative is not a positive. I smoked from 15 years old to 35 years old. I quit this year and have not smoked in over 30 days. Good job, Sin City Delivers. Great work. I don't miss it and don't plan on smoking for the years to come. I found there are more important things in my life that I want to build. When I added up the years and realized I had smoked longer on this planet than I haven't, that made me change the way I looked at weed. I'm on a new level and 100% more productive. If you're a heavy smoker, consider giving it up. It may change your entire life for the better. So, so well said. And the key is that what I'm kind of addressing to and talking to is heavy smokers. If you smoke once a week or once every couple of weeks, this really has nothing to do with you. You're not an addict. It's You're not addicted to this and you're not using it to deal with life situations. You're just enjoying it once in a while and that's fine. But for the heavy smokers, he said it so well that um, it changes the way you look at weed in general. So those are some good and bad comments. There's tons more. I obviously didn't have time to go through all of them. And I want to thank all you guys for commenting, good or bad. If people make stupid comments, though, you get blocked. Like, if you're trying to, like, insult me and stuff like that, you're just going to get blocked. I thank you for your view, and I thank you for your comment, but you're going to get blocked. We're not here for any type of negativity. We are here to level up and be our best self. And as I've let, my, let you guys know in this video right here, when you're on the path of leveling up, the negativity comes. When you start to vibrate higher, literally the negativity comes, the attacks come, the insults come, because people in their negative vibrations feel so attacked. They feel like you doing good is a reflection of how bad they're doing. And it's not that, because I never think about how bad anyone else is doing. All I do is think up, because we're leveling up. That's all we're doing. So that's it for this one on the topic of quitting weed. Thank you everyone for your comments and your views and your subscribes. I appreciate all of that. More content on the way. I will be live streaming Sunday at 1 p.m. You guys can tune in if you want to. That's it for this one. Level Up Protocol. Be your best self. My voice is kind of messed up. I don't know what's going on. It's been like this for like a month now. I don't know. Level Up Protocol. Be your best self.